bigger than Snapchat, Twitter and LinkedIn. But if you're not a teenager, you may never have heard of TikTok. Well, it's the fastest growing social media app in the world, but has now promised to make changes to its policies after a BBC investigation found young people and children feeling exploited into sending popular creators money. The so-called gift baiting is happening during live broadcasts and some fans are sending hundreds of pounds in digital gifts in exchange for promises of attention from their favourite stars. Joe Tidy reports. TikTok is the fastest growing social media app in the world. It's a viral video machine, hugely popular with teenagers. But there's another side to this platform that's less well known. I love you guys so much and you guys are amazing. This is live streaming. When you get a thousand fans or more, you can broadcast straight to your followers. It's an excuse for a lot of people to get closer to their audience, but it's also a place where the creators are asking for money. Remember, if you are the next person to click that gift box and send a concert, you get a follow. Some of these animated stickers cost pennies, but the most expensive and most sought after cost users 49 pounds. Drama queen! Oh, the drama queen! Reactions to videos, collaborations and shout outs are routinely up for grabs. Yo, if you drop another drama queen, yeah, I'll speak to you on Instagram for a week straight. But some fans feel exploited by the more extreme and persuasive sales techniques being used. Thank you so much for the drama queen. If you say one more, you get my number, okay? We spoke to a 12-year-old girl from the northwest of England who didn't want to appear on camera. You gave uh, a TikTok £100, 100 pounds, uh, during one live. She was promised his phone number, but says he's only replied to a few messages and has never answered her calls. Sebastian Moy did not respond to our requests for comment. And she's not the only one who's given big gifts to TikTokers. I think in the end it was about 400 by the time it was all said and done. Stephanie Barber blames TikTokers for persuading her 11-year-old daughter to rack up the bill over two live streams. Adults should know better, and even other teenagers and that should know better that you don't ask essentially children for money. The Nafati brothers from Blackburn have 2.5 million fans. Their average live stream earns them around 250 pounds. A lot of our gifters are 30-year-old uh, women. We don't like it when our gifters are young. So basically, we ask them if their parents know about it, but we can't stop them. The Chinese company behind TikTok says it's sorry to hear about some of the experiences we documented. In light of our investigation, a spokesperson said they will further strengthen the platform's policies and features. Joe Tidy, BBC News. Uh, now, let me just tell you that the much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, lots of you getting in touch, actually, on email about TikTok. Uh, Claudia says, never mind where is the money going, where is the money coming from? Where is a 12-year-old getting hundreds of pounds? Surely their parents check their accounts regularly, like daily. Um, Jez on Twitter, how are kids being conned? Where do they get the money from? Uh, a question being asked more than once. Surely it's a parental responsibility to monitor them and teach them not to be so gullible. Uh, on Facebook, thank you, Bev, for getting in touch. How in the world are kids paying for this? Uh, there's a theme here, isn't there? What are they doing with so much money? Parents should be doing their job. And Callum on Twitter, no idea what this TikTok is, uh, but this is surely the parent's responsibility. It's very much like those parents who complain after their child has run up a bill playing FIFA, uh, Ultimate Team on Xbox or any other game. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, do keep those emails coming.